finding the highest value in an array. So let's redo our array. So we have double scores, six, and let's say that we have 70, 60, 50, 80, and 90 in our array. So we have this array. We want to find the highest score or the highest value. So what we're going to do is we need to, the algorithm for this is we're going to first of all declare a variable called highest. So this variable is going to hold the highest score and so we're going to have a variable called highest and then we're going to set this variable we're going to set this variable equal to the first element in the array. So how that's going to be highest equals scores zero. And then what we're going to do, so right now we have 70 stored to highest. What we're going to do now is step through our array with a for loop, and we're going to compare the highest to each value in the array, or each element in the array. And if the element in the array is higher than what we currently have in highest, we're going to replace highest with whatever that value is. So we're going to do a for loop to step through the array. So for and then int count is equal to zero, count less than six because we have six elements. Actually, one, two, three, four. Actually we only have, I only wrote five elements in this array. So this array has five elements and then count plus plus and then we're going to say if scores count is greater than highest. So this is going to compare the element that we're currently at in the for loop. And so it's going to compare that to what we currently have stored in highest. And it's going to see if that value is greater or not. So if the current value in the in the element is higher than highest, we're going to store that value to highest. So highest is equal to scores count and then after this loop runs, at the end of this loop, highest should have the the highest value in the array. So what this is doing, and we could probably actually start this at one because we already have zero stored in highest, but I'll just start it here. So at zero, so the first loop of this array, we have scores zero. So is 70 greater than 70? No, so it's just gonna go to the next iteration. Now count is equal to one. So now this is scores one, which is here. So is 60 greater than 70? No, so it's gonna go in the next iteration. It's gonna keep doing that until it gets to 80. So this is zero, one, two, three, four. So when we have three here, so scores three, when that's equal to 80, so is 80 greater than highest? 80 is greater than 70, so now it's going to store 80 to highest. So now highest, is equal to 80, then it's going to increment to the next element in the array. So now this is four. So scores four is equal to 90. 90 is greater than 80. So it's, now it's going to now it's going to store 90 to highest. So now highest is equal to 90. And then the loop is going to end. So after this loop ends, it's gone through this entire array. It should have the highest value in the array stored to the variable highest. And then we're going to do a similar sort of algorithm if we want to find the lowest value. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to say that lowest equals scores zero. So we're going to store the first value in the array to lowest. 
And then we're going to step through the array and we're going to compare all of the values. And this time, instead of looking to see if the value in our array is higher than highest, we're going to be looking to see if the value in our array is lower than lowest. And if it's lower, we're going to store that value to lowest. So this is going to be int count zero, count less than five, count plus plus, and then we're going to have if scores count is less than lowest, then, and this is inside this if statement, then lowest is equal to scores count. So then after this loop runs, it should, uh, it should have the lowest value stored to the variable lowest.